Okay, I thought you had. It is. It is a zero. Oh, it's a Lego what? It's a it's a zero Lego. Oh, okay. Does Lego make like Roblox Legos? Roblox. Because, because they kind of look similar. Yes, they are. Do they? I should I should contact Lego in Denmark. Um. So, Ted, let's see. Halloween starts soon. Ted, are you excited? Halloween in Japan, it's in just two and a yes, half hours. But the most exciting is Christmas. Christmas? Christmas. <laughs> and why is, oh, you like Christmas better. Okay, I get it. How about Mr. Fuang? Day. All right. And uh, Carter came. Good to see Carter. Hey, Carter. Uh, Ted's showing us his Lego collection. <laughs> He's very Hello. happy. He is biting. <laughs> He loves his Legos, Carter. <laughs> Carter, how are you? I'm today very fine. Thank you. And you? Yeah, pretty good. It was a beautiful day in Hiroshima, but I just did housework, Carter, helping my wife clean oh. the house. <laughs> did you go to school you, today, Carter? Uh, yes, I went to school and I mm. just go home in uh, five Oh, okay. Is that early for you? Um, not very. Okay. Uh huh. Interesting. And Mr. Ted, what time did you come home from school today? Ted is hiding his screen with his Legos, Carter. <laughs> Don't know what he's doing. Ted, what are you doing to the camera? Did you put your Legos in front of it? Yeah. I thought so. Those look like your Legos. I still have to find out, Carter, if Legos makes Roblox, you know, because they look a little bit like the characters in Roblox look like Legos. So I'm wondering if Legos knows that. Ms. Fuang, are you there? Oh, yeah. How are you today, Fuang? I'm fine. Yeah. And did you have a good day in school? Yes, I, I have a good day at school. Yeah, what did you study? Math or social studies, PE, English? Uh, I study math. Yeah. Do you like math? Uh, I think I don't like math. Okay, that's what we asked about, you know. Um, do you like math? <laughs> do you know, um, Ivy had her exams. Ivy, how are the uh, exam week going? It's Wednesday. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I do it quite good, but there's Hello, buddy. Like that. I Hello. don't know how to do it. Yeah, Victor, Ivy took her exams and then there were math problems you didn't know how to do. Yeah, some of them I forgot how how it's done, so I um, skip it. Step by step. Did you skip one or two of them? I skip one of them. Okay. Was it like you just completely forgot the steps? I just like I remember the basic steps, but mm. the are the other steps to calculate the the answers I forget. Oh no. Was it part of that being nervous about math that we talked about as our topic? Yes. Yeah. I mean you studied a lot, right? Yes. Yeah. I have to study at uh, that adds tomorrow night because uh, my school say that uh, students have to study even at night until half past seven. Okay, half past seven. Do you know, Ivy, I knew a young student from Korea and she had to study until 2.30 in the morning for her math test. I don't know why she went to a math study center till 2.30 and, and I asked, did your father or mother come and take you home? And she said, no, I walked home by myself at 2.30. I said, why would you do that? She said, oh, it's safe. You know, her small city called Pyeongtaek in Korea, it's south of Seoul. She said, oh, it's completely safe. <laughs> I just thought that was very strange leaving at 2.30 in the morning, yeah. All right. That's scary, that was that terrifying. Scary. I thought it was scary, she didn't. 
think it was so scary. <laughs> she was an interesting young lady. She was a wonderful artist, uh, but she was uh, very sarcastic, very cynical. Hey, Victor, you said hello. I'm sorry I didn't get to say a big hello to Mr. Victor. Victor, how are you? I'm fine today. <clears throat> yeah, and was school good? Yes, teacher. Yeah, did you study math or English or science? Tomorrow I will study math. Oh, okay. And do you like math? Uh, a little bit. That, a little bit. <laughs> uh, that is difficult to me. Yeah, because that was our topic. Does math make you stressful? Um, tonight I want to play um, Fuang has a good presentation. You all have good presentations, but I just chose three to, to save time. Um, I chose Fuang. Are you there with your uh, yes. headphones? Fuang, we have your presentation and we'll show it in just a couple minutes. Let me just say hello to everybody first. Uh, we have Ellis also will show yours and Johnny. Johnny Kwong, we have yours. Hello, Milky. Hello, Mary. How are you? Thank you for coming. And Vu joined us. All right. So I think almost everybody's here. Let's just take a look starting out to answer this question about stress and math, because some people said, ah, math is so, so. And one student said it was difficult to take a test because she forgot some things. So let's listen first to uh, Johnny Kwong. Johnny, this is your response. This is very good response. And let me uh, do the share screen in just a second here and make sure everything is good there and there because sometimes share screen has a problem. Math anxieties may also be an important problem to discuss because it makes most students nervous more than other classes like English, science, history, or social studies. Yeah. Hello everyone, my name is Shani, and today I will do Mr. Brendan's homework. About me, I think math isn't difficult for many students. If you study hard and understand the lessons fast, and really remember the way to do different questions in the exams, math may not be very hard to you, but there's also some students who don't understand or they couldn't pay attention in the math classes. So why is this happening? It's happening because the math program is difficult and hard to understand for some students. They may not understand some of the lessons. This means that they cannot do well on the exam and don't have good marks. Also, the math curriculum is increasingly advanced, so it is hard for students to understand all the lesson and do a lot of homework that the teacher designed. So what can you do to prevent this page from appearing? You can read the lessons of the day before you go to school, like in the night before school day or on the weekend, you can also do the homeworks in prep, in prep time in school or ask your teacher some question that you don't understand. They will always answer you and respond. You also should make a timetable that balances study or different types of subjects like English, math, and social media, and play time. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. Very good. I like this, um, Johnny, are you there, uh, presentation because you mentioned that math becomes increasingly difficult, and that's a really good point to make. Um, from my own experience, math started easy, but when I was about 13 or 14 years old, it became too difficult for me, and I didn't get very good grades. Um, I used to be a pretty good math student. Ted, what's your question? Ted, are you there? Ted raised his hand. What are you doing, Ted? Do you have a question? No. Oh, okay. Don't put your hand up if you don't have a question, Mr. Ted. Oh, Ted, I can't hear you. Something's I'm going on. I'm just waiting for the question. Okay, what's your question, please? Ah, you don't have a question. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, Ted, can come close. I can't hear you. You have to come. What, what? Oh, there's something wrong with your microphone, Ted. So I don't know. Math math, 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 math
and science what? And math be difficult than science. Math is more difficult than science. That's a good point. Okay, thanks, Ted. Uh, let's go to another presentation. We have uh, Mary. Mary, this was very nice. And uh, let me get it ready. And let me do a share screen for Mary's presentation. Uh, it's not quite right. One moment, please. Okay, wait, where is that one? Okay, and where is Mary? Mary, where are you? Ah, this should be showing. Okay, I'm sorry about the delay. We'll go to Mary now. And play Mary. Hello everyone, my name is Mary. I'm 10 years old. Today I do Mr. Brandon homework. And the question for today is, do you think math class cause students to get more nervous than other classes like English, science, or social study? This is called old math anxiety. Do you think math anxiety is a serious problem for students? But with me, I think math the class math is not to be the nervous for the student. But when the test of a, a math test comes, the, the students feel very nervous. So they can't focus all of the classes like English, science, or social study. So you need to have a timetable for study. Like in the morning, you study math. In the evening, in the um, afternoon, you study English. And in the evening, you can play a little bit. So this can help you can focus more questions and don't look nervous. Me too. I'm nervous about math test too. Why? Because math test is the math test is a surprise that we have we need to have points to go to the upgrade. So I'm very nervous from math on math test. And when I have a timetable, we can't nervous anymore because you can play so you don't nervous of the math anymore. So now I really like math. How about you? Do you like math? And do you nervous of the math class? Please shout me. Thank you for listening in. Bye, everyone. See you next time. Bye, bye, Mary. Really wonderful. Thanks, Mary. I really like that. Um, Mary was using gestures. Ted said you should chew gum to remember. Is this true, Ted, or are you just being funny? No, it is true. It is true. Okay. So, yeah, a Japanese researcher said chew gum. It helps your brain to exercise. and You'll do better, I guess. I don't know. All right. Let's see. Um, Alice is next, but um, Mary said advancement to the next grade means you have to get good math scores. And that was an interesting point, Mary. You can't keep going further in your um, schoolwork if you don't get good math test scores. So that's why a lot of students feel very nervous, Mary. That's what you said. So nice points, Mary. Very good. All right, let's look at one more. We have Ellis. Hello, no. And we'll call it the amazing Ellis. But uh, one moment, I have to Close one window to share the other one. Okay, let me take a look. Ellis, are you ready for it? Are you nervous? Ellis is on the quick time player. And so here's Ellis. Hello, teacher and friends. Hello, Ellis. I'm Ellis, and today I'm gonna do Mr. Brandon homework. The homework has got have has got two questions. The first question is: Do you think math class causes students to get more nervous than the other class? The second question is, do you think math anxiety is a serious problem for young students? For me, I think math causes students to get more nervous because it's more difficult than the other subject. And also, when we study math, we have to use thinking. Well, you know, <laughs> math is really difficult, but it's very important to, for our life, to our life, especially for jobs like 
doctor, scientist, engineer, pharmacist, and a lot of more. In my opinion, I think that anxiety is very serious for young students. That's because it's going to make them stress when they have math, math lesson or test. Instead, they should be enjoying, enjoying study math so that young students could be happier and no longer stress. To be interested in math, we should start to with the basic math problem so that everything is easy and gradually increase the difficulty. Also, you could try to do some brain exercise like challenge yourself with games and puzzle so that it will be easier for you. Now, do you think math is, is study math is interesting? If not, you can find find some ways that study that makes study math easier and in a fun way. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. Very nice, Alice. Um, talking about math as try to create something fun with puzzles and brain training. Um, in um, America, in high school, they introduced logic puzzles. And uh, my friend used to play those using a magazine of logic puzzles. And I began to do them because I would be on an airplane from Japan to my hometown, Chicago, it takes about 12 or 13 hours. So I would do these logic puzzles. And they're kind of cool. Um, I can show you guys one in English sometimes, see if you like them. Logic puzzles. How are you, Milky? Is Milky there? Hey, Milky, how are you? I'm good. Milky. Sorry, my younger brother also studied too, so a little noisy. Oh, your little brother, is he in our class? No, he studied another class, a smaller oh, okay. class, not debate. Okay, Um. so Milky, do you like math? It's just my dog pocket. You just made up what? No, my dog is barking. Oh, your dog so. is barking. Okay, we'll let the doggy bark, Milky. <laughs> let me see. Uh, Mr. Vu, are you there? Vu. What happened to no, Vu? Oh, Hey, Vu, you disappeared. Where are you? <laughs> we just have this Vietnam War thing. <laughs> Vu, <laughs> Vu, what are you doing? <laughs> How are you today? I'm fine. Yeah. And do you like math, Vu? Um, Did you catch the part where uh, somebody said we have to connect math and science together? I think that was, um, it was Mary or Ellis or Fuang. Somebody said we have to use, what's Mary? Was it Ted? Did you say we have to connect math and science, Ted? No, okay. We have to connect. Yes, we do. We have to connect math and science, Mr. Ted. Math is equal to science. It's more important or what? It is equal in science. Is what? I can't hear it. You got too close to the money. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. All right. You're getting muted. That's crazy. Talk softly. Don't put the mic in your mouth. One more time. Uh, it's not working. You're playing with that mic too much, buddy. Um, all right. You guys, I have today's thing. Are you ready for it? Um, I'm going to get this ready. Oh, yes. Wonderful. Okay, we have a new debate topic I want to share with you. And with this debate topic, what I want you to do is remember to use some debate speech like the blue one here. And it's really important. And so this is the question for today. Uh, let's see. Ivy, can you read this for us? If Ivy's there. Hello, Ivy. Ivy, are you there? Ivy. Hello, Ivy. 
Ivy. Where's Ivy? Uh, hey, Victor, are you there, Victor? Victor, are you there? Yes, yes, teacher. Victor, can you read the blue box? Okay. The rise of social media, including Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and X, has had a negative impact on society. Do you agree or disagree with this statement? Yeah. Victor, is social media always good or has it had a negative impact? It has a negative Okay, why do you think so? Because uh, uh, when uh, some kids watch YouTube, they uh, don't know, they don't know the video, the the video. Some some video have a have a fight fight scene. Don't don't hmm. have fight scene. Have a blood, and they will. They will hunt the kid, and and the kid can become a crime. Oh wow! To fight like that, would you say, Victor? Okay. Uh, let's ask Vu. Vu, what do you think of this? Um, I think is um. Is it negative or positive impact? Um. <gasps> negative impact. I think about it. Okay, that's fine. Hey, Milky, Milky, do you think? Social media, Facebook, Twitter, or X, YouTube, has had a negative impact? Yeah. A okay. little. A little. Milky, why do you think so? Can you ask again? Why do you think it's a little bit negative? Uh, I know about TikToks and YouTube. Huh? And some my mom using is like, Facebook, TikToks, yeah. or I don't know, so remember, but with me, I think it's not good. Okay, not good in general. Why not? Because I think someone can be doing bad thing in it, but oh. I probably don't know about it. Uh, okay. You don't use it? Uh, I tried to use it uh, sometime already, but I cannot understand how to use. Okay. So I don't use. All right. That's a good answer. I want to go back to Ivy. Hey, Ivy, are you there? Ivy, Ivy, are you there? <laughs> Ivy. Where is Ivy? Ivy. Hi, Ivy. Hi. Did, you get, did you get really sleepy, Ivy? I think you're studying so much. Ivy, you're a secondary student. So have you had any negative experiences with social media? Some negative ones. Mm -hmm. uh, first, uh, it will be very harmful for your health. And and it's also gonna like uh, uh affects your studying. For example, if you're using your when you're on your phone for like uh a lot, it it can harm your eyes and you can see the board and and you can study focus because your brains always think about. Uh, watching TVs, watching iPads, or watching phones, not focus on studying. Mm. All right, that's pretty cool, Ivy. Nice. Some good points. All right, now we had Milky and Victor. Let's try some more. Uh, Puang, what do you think? 
Uh, I don't think it have any negative impacts because it can affect um affect the student. Huh? Then they can study because uh they like to use then only use. Okay, so you say it has no negative impacts or some impacts? Uh, no negative. No negative. Oh, it does? It has negative impacts? Or nothing? No no negative? I'm not sure what it is for them. Do, oh, like? do you think it's always good or always bad or a little bit it bad? It is always bad. Always bad, okay. So I'm going to change this. I think it has negative impacts. Okay, here we go. Can you tell me the negative impacts one more time? Students who spend time? I who spend time on... All right, let's go to um, Mary and Ellis. Ellis, what's your opinion about this social media? Um, I think social media um, has um, negative because like um, if uh, kids like to addition and it, like if they, uh, watch it tv or ipad iphone too much mm -hmm. or like uh watching youtube tiktok uh they're gonna be addition addition it and they cannot focus in studies okay nice Okay, and does it also affect your sleeping, Alice? Remember we talked about sleeping. Police. Yeah. Is it Alice? Police. Who is that? Is that Ted? Ted, you got your microphone? Okay, Ted, what do you want to say? It should be okay now if you move it, the mic. It affects our sleeping too. It affects our what? Our sleep. Our sleep, yeah. Okay. Ted, can you play? How are sleeping? Yeah, you can't sleep. How are you sleeping? All right. All right, let's go to Mary. Are you there? Yeah. Mary, what do you think about this? Um, I think social media is uh, children have a uh, negative when they watch it too much. Okay. Do you know any children? Um... Like my cousin. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. What happened? Is it a boy or a girl? Because when they always um, watch a phone, mm. so their eyes pass not good and they need to wear glasses and then they can focus the lesson hmm. while the teacher cheat in school so they can do the homework Nice response, Mary. So what, um, is it one cousin or two cousins, Mary? Um, one cousin. Yeah, and so uh, your cousin. So is, is it a boy or girl? Um, girl. Okay, so we'll say she always watches films and her eyes are weakening. Is she older than you, Mary, or younger? 
um older than me. Uh, yeah. yeah. Now, does do you think you're a better student, Mary? Mm. Keep that a secret. They right? also don't like don't like any subjects, but she uh, like like is uh favorite subject is IT. Yeah, is she good in some subjects? Yeah, she good at math, but she um she don't like math. Oh, she's good at it, but she just doesn't like it? Yes. Oh, that's interesting. Because usually kids who don't like math, uh, it's because they are not good at it. That's what happened to me. Um, so that's why I decided I didn't like math in high school, because I was pretty good at math in junior high school. So I'm just putting these so you can see your comments here. Okay, let's go to uh, Vu. Did you figure out what you want to say, Mr. Vu? Um, I think um, um, uh, a misinformation uh, and fake news, the rapid re uh, speed, uh, speed of information can lead to the widespread distribution of false or misled in news. Oh. All right. I didn't catch all of that, so I'll just leave it there, I think. Um, if you could put it in chat, write your response in chat, Victor, then I can type it in because I couldn't understand, unfortunately. Let's go to Johnny. Hey, Johnny, what do you think? Mm, I think it is not a good thing to student because they use watch it so much this is uh, not a good effect to them because they cannot sleep enough and pay attention in their classes hmm. or lessons Um, Johnny, do you have any friends in, in your school that have uh, problems because they spend too much time on social media, game playing? No. So it's a pretty good school, your primary school? No, I'm in secondary school. Oh, you're in secondary, Johnny. Okay. And so it's a good secondary school? Yes. Yeah. So it's like the kids cannot bring tablets or notebooks or smartphones to school? Uh, yes, they can, but they can only use it in the break time or when the teacher is said they. Okay. And if they have to do research, are they good students? Do they pay attention to the teacher? Yes. And they study really hard. Nice. They always have good mark on the yeah. test. Huh. Like that. Hey, Johnny, um, is it a private school or international school or a city school? Uh, it is already a uh... Huh. All right. Hey, Johnny, by the way, your background is really cool because that looks like Japan's sky right now. In Japan, that's called Akizora. It means autumn sky, October sky. It's really beautiful. But tomorrow's the last day of October. It's Akizora. It's kind of cool. All right, thanks, Johnny. Good work, as usual. Hey, Carter, are you there? Give us the Carter yeah. ideas. Mr. Carter. I think that um, I think that the rise of social media huh? Including Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and X had a negative impact because they um they can make they can make 
anxiety, depression, mm. and long lines, or mm. um like uh, and we pri privacy have dangerous mm. personal data can be harvested. And you mm. with the constant rising privacy issue. Mm. Nice, Carter. Uh, this is all new, by the, by the way. Yes. Carter, were you in my class last summer? The kids were talking about Roblox that people in Roblox were stealing passwords and stealing credits and money from other players? Um, that is very false because playing, playing video games shows fun. But it's, they want to like win and they will use the um, the money and oh, very bad. Yeah. But you can play a little bit. Uh -huh. Because they can make um the they highly addictive leading to waste time and decrease productivity. Mm. I think that's what the students said last summer. Okay. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Let's see, did we, I'm gonna just check. <laughs> I like your hat, Alice. Is that a French red beret? <laughs> it's very cute. I'm glad you're having fun, Alice. <laughs> I'm just gonna look for Mr. Mr. V, Mr. Vu, where are you? Okay, Mary, you have to go out. You have chores, okay. Good luck with the chores, Mary. She has to help out with little sister, maybe. Me too, I will watch her. <laughs> okay, Milky and Mary have to go. Oh no, Mary and Milky will miss you. Ted, what is please? What is this, Ted? Are you there, Ted? Ted, did you have to use the toilet? <laughs> okay. Toilet. What is the please? Do you want me to call on you? It. Yay! Your microphone's working good now. Go ahead, talk. It... You're doing good. I didn't have any time. No, no, no! Don't put it right up to your mouth. Take it back a little I... bit. Oh, my God. Ted, what did you do to your mic? I'm going to tell your sister, Mia, to help you with that microphone. Hey, Vin, Boo, are you there? Yes. Boo, did yeah. you want to type something Ooh, into chat? Ooh. Just type one idea into chat. You don't have to read the thing. Just type it in, what you want to say about mm -hmm. social media. Um, I think there's a... Oh, let's see. If you um, watch more uh, on you, uh, your phone, your eye... A hurt, uh, he hurts and causing many people to be to come uh, no size and make your brain do. Okay. Okay, so it makes your brain work too much? Yes. Okay. Ooh, it makes your brain work too much. All right, let me put that here one moment, please. Hey, Boo, let's change this. I think it overloads your brain too much. Yeah. Okay, so the second part of today's lesson that's really important for the next 20 minutes, you all did a great job. Alice, let's take what you wrote here. And so Alice, I'm gonna take this, okay? Are you ready for the magic trick, Alice? <laughs> Alice with the daisy in her hair. Hey, Alice. What I want to do is take your really good comments, which are always really nice, and I'm gonna move them down, 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 down to here. And I'm gonna take away this good diet thing. Uh, well, that's not very good. I wanna um, choose this. Okay, so you guys, do you remember? Okay, that's what Ella said. Do you remember in the blue things here, this is the correct date, the, the, the correct language. Ellis, can you read these for us? Because this is how we should start each debate. Can you read um, this page here? Our family firmly believes a good diet is important because 
curtains foods are good for your brain. Apples and grapes are good for brain functioning. Yes. First and foremost, let's clarify, clar clarify. clarify our sense. We feel exercise for young people is very important because yeah. allow us to present our case for a good diet and a lot of exercise to create very good health. We support these two factors because they are very good for making us fresh in, in our thinking and our acting. We are here today to advocate yes. for a good diet and exercising every day. Here are our reasons to support our position. Young people will become stronger and in their bodies and in their thinking with exercise and healthy diet. It's our contention that both are important, but after eating, especially in school, we need to walk slowly, otherwise we might get a bad stomach, stomach ache. Yeah, stomach ache. Our team firmly believes that both exercise and a good diet will give us important vitamins. Exercise help us grow. I like basketball. Our team firmly believes so social media has done more harm than good in the last 20 years. Very nice, Alice. So Alice, which of these blue ones do you like best? If you can pick one. Uh, I don't know. Do you, how about this one? We are here today to advocate for? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good debate starter. So I take this down here and I'm going to put it next to your writing if I can find it. Okay, Ellis. Um, There. All right. So let's see. Um, Ellis, are you there still? Yep. Ellis, can you read this debate style then? Okay. We are here today to advocate for the notion that social media has some negative impact. Because if kids use iPads to watch YouTube and TikTok, they can get addicted and they will not focus and study. Yeah, so really nice. Um, so Ellis, I'm gonna put this in blue because that's using the correct debate language. Really good, and I'll make it bold blue because that's the language you guys should be using for debate. So this is what I always introduce after the fourth or fifth week. Ivy, are you there? Yes, I'm um, here. Yeah. <laughs> Ivy, I was afraid you were going to get too stressed about all these exams. Please don't be stressed. You'll do a fine job. Hey, Ivy, do you see all these blue debate starters? Would you like to choose one? Okay. <laughs> I, we're here today to advocate. Do you like that one? That's the yeah. same one that Ellis chose. You oh, can, really? <laughs> you can I choose, choose that one. because when I have a debate competition, I will, my team use that phrase. Okay. So, it, so yeah. it's your favorite. That's fine. All right, let's take uh, your statement here then. That's fine. You don't have to change it. 
And let's we go to IV. Uh, and we go here. I'm going to copy all of this IV. And so and I'm just going to put this down here because some students are new to debate IV. So they don't they don't know how to use that expression and it's really important. So I'm going to put your thing here. And then IV, we're going to say, um, I'm going to change this a little bit. First and foremost. Um, what do you think? I <laughs> OK, now I'm going to change this a little bit. We are here today. Advocate. To advocate for the idea that social media can be harmful to young people. Yes. And then what do you think? Would you like that second part? First and foremost, which I think is a really good, you know, part two of a debate starter, right? All right, so okay. I think if you can read it all, it should sound really good. Okay. Uh, we are to, we're here today to advocate for the idea that social media can be harmful for young to, to young people. First and foremost, it can be harmful for, for our health. It can affect our study habits. This happens when someone is on their phone. Eyes get damaged and our focus is lessened to because the brain gets used to screen viewing. Yeah, that should be T-O-O-2. I have some good news about my debate competitions. Yeah, how was it? Um, in the next round. So you got to accept it to the next round. Yes. Yay, everyone say, yay, we have a debate champion here. Nice. Uh, um, coming soon, a debate champion. It's really wonderful. Uh, <laughs> Congratulations, uh, Ivan. Uh, Who's that? Mr. Ted, what did you say? Did you say something nice? Bob, why? Dad, what are you doing with that microphone? Wah, wah. Okay. Can you say congratulations, Ivy? Uh, Mr. Ted, be a gentleman. Okay. Um, Johnny, which of these do you like? You can choose whichever you like of the blue ones. Anyone is okay, Johnny. I choose the we are here today to advocate. <laughs> I'm laughing, Johnny, because everyone loves that expression. We are here today to advocate. All right, Johnny, I'll use it. No problem. We'll put it in here. You guys really like that statement. We are here today to advocate. But even if you just learn one of these, it's really good. It could be you go to a debate competition. Um, Ivy has been to them, and the other team doesn't know how to use this language. Ivy, have you been to a debate competition where you get the feeling the other team doesn't know how to use correct debate language? Yeah. Kind of like this team does. <laughs> yeah, I think they don't know how to use that, so their their speaking is not as good as my team. Yeah, so then do the judges notice it and then you guys usually get better points? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ivy, are the judges all from Vietnam or are there foreign judges too? They're foreigners, judges. Okay, so do you think if a foreigner hears that, our team is here today to advocate for, it just sounds really good? Yes. Yeah, so that's the message I'm trying to get to all these other students. Follow Ivy's advice, you guys. Use that we're here today to advocate for because it just sounds so good in a, in a debate, everybody. So, Johnny, I'm going to give you this one here. We are, oh, we are, we are here today to advocate for the idea uh, that social media can present some serious problems. Johnny, I changed this a little bit. You know, I just want you to have some variation. Um, but this is this is pretty, pretty good, Johnny. All right, Johnny, would you like to read what we have so you can practice a real debate thing here, John? Uh, we are here today to advocate for the idea that social media can present some serious problems. 
I think social media is not all the good for students. They take it so much content, and this can cause sleeping problems. It also decreases their ability to pay attention in class. Students can use device, but they use the device the wisely paying attention to what the teacher tells them to do. Research on the device. Oh, when I say devices, I mean, you know, notebooks and desktop computers. Is that okay, Johnny? Yes. Huh? Um. Now, Johnny, you said this is the case in your school. You can say, um, Now, Johnny, I wrote this because, you know, I was teaching in Taipei, Taiwan two years ago, and they had a policy. The school said you can bring whatever you want to study. So all the kids brought these expensive smartphones because their moms and dads were kind of rich Taiwanese people. They had their own companies. Some of these kids were like really rich, you guys. Their mother and father would drop them off in front of the school in a Mercedes Benz or a Volvo or a BMW. I would go, oh my God, look at these cars, right? But then there were these other students there. You'd see like a young teenage girl on the back of her dad's motorcycle. And I thought that's pretty cool too. I thought that was neat, right? And then the girl would hop off of her dad and give her dad the helmet, right? So that, that was pretty cool. It was a nice mix, Johnny. So Johnny, can you read? Oh, but the reason I mentioned, because you could bring your own smartphone, there were a lot of lazy kids, Johnny, and they wouldn't do the lesson. They were supposed to do what is on the big blackboard and use a QR code and join the lesson. And they were just playing Mario go-karts, street fighting games. Um, it was pretty terrible. They wouldn't listen during the lesson. Hey, Johnny, can you read it all together now? Because you're a really good reader. Uh... We are here today to advocate for the idea that social media can present some serious problem. I think social media is not all that good for students. They take in so much content and this can cause sleeping problems. It also decreases their ability to pay attention in class. Students can use device, but they use the device such as notebook or laptop computers, smartphones, and tablets wisely paying attention to what the teacher tells them to do research on the devices. This is the standard in our school and the students follow the teacher's directions. In our schools, the students may play games on their devices instead of doing the class assignments. Yeah, I think that's true to say, because other students have told me that in Ho Chi Minh City or Hanoi or Da Nang, a lot of the kids are playing games on their things. The use of the devices is wisely paying attention to what the teacher tells them to do. Um, they do research on the devices. Okay, that's pretty pretty good. Uh, let's see, we had Ellis and we had Ivy and Johnny. Let's do some more. Let's see who else we could choose. Uh, we had Mr. Carter. Carter, of these responses for debate, what do you like? We have, our team firmly believes, first and foremost, allow us to present our case. We are here today to advocate for. It's our contention that both are important. Our team firmly believes. Our team firmly believes. What do you think, Carter? Your choice. 
fighting is of it our connection that both are important. Nice. Okay. It is our contention that both are important. Let me go to Carter's original statement here. It is our contention. Oh, nice one, Carter. Really long, too. So let's see. What was that again? It's it is our contention means our strong idea. It is our contention that both are important. Okay. It is our contention. The, the. <laughs> that the rise of social media. Okay, Carter, I think this is pretty good. Carter, would you like to read it? Oh, uh, yes. Okay, because this is really good practice. I know you guys are maybe a little sleepy, but this is really good. Go ahead, Carter. It is our content contention that the rise of social media with Facebook has created a negative impact. They can make us experience depression, privacy with personal data can create, um, create issue if someone still our information compared to game platform like Roblox can also create problem because accounts are hacked and graded are slowly. Yeah, is that true, Carter? Because the students told me that last summer. So I'm just guessing. Okay. Hey, Victor, would you like to try? Mr. Victor. Victor, let me see. What did you say? I'm going to copy it. All right, Victor. Always good responses from Victor here. Okay, Victor, um, which of these do you like, the blue ones, the starters? Our team firmly believes, first and foremost, allow us to present our case. We are here to advocate for. I like, first and foremost, let's clarify our stance. Yeah, first and foremost, let's clarify our stance. Really nice, Victor. It's an easy one for me to remember, too. So first and foremost, let's clarify our stance. That's kind of interesting. Ivy, have you heard that before in a debate? First and foremost, let's clarify our stance. Um, I didn't hear that in my currently debate conversation. I didn't hear that. I just hear, we are here today for advocate yeah, just like that. Yeah, I got that first and foremost from ChatGPT. They gave me 12 great debate starters for secondary students. And I said, these sound pretty good, but I don't know if you guys use them. You know, this is just the AI telling me this is what high school students in America and Canada use. So I'm hoping maybe you guys could use this too. Um, Victor, would you like to read it then? It sounds pretty good. Yes, teacher. First and foremost, we will clarify our stance. Social media has had a negative impact. For example, YouTube has video will f with five cents where kids are followed and encroached to five. Is that true, Victor? Uh, you were telling me that, but I'm not sure if I understood it. You go to YouTube and you watch people fight and they're real fights? Um... When I go, was kid, I see a report a report on the internet about the kid have 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 watched the YouTube video and uh, and follow it and oh. that kid is the diet. Oh no! So they watched fight on on YouTube, um, where a kid died. Yes. That's really awesome. Yeah.
Teacher, can I go to the toilet? Yeah, please do, Victor. Um, Ivy, what do you think? I didn't know. Do you know that story Victor was talking about? Yes. Like no. you could, he, he watched some kid in a fight and the kid died is what he said. It just seems so shocking. And I don't know if it's, he heard the story. I don't know if it's true or not. Where is it? Where is it? He said he saw it. It was a story about YouTube from a few years ago. So I don't know. It's, you know, if it really happened. Victor, did you see this video yourself or did you just hear about it? Yes, did you? I can hear you good. Okay, did you actually see the fight where the boy dies, Victor, or did somebody tell you about it? Um, I see, I see the boy die, but I don't see what video is he. Oh, so Victor, you actually saw the video? Yes. Oh my gosh. How did you I think YouTube is uh, delete that video. How did you feel when you saw that, Victor? What did you feel? I feel that horror and uh, I feel that dangerous when I'm, when I'm, use youtube and then mm. and my parents say that i need to be careful when watch some video i don't know Yeah, do you know, Victor and uh, Ivy and Johnny and Vu and Fuang, I really love dogs. I just think dogs are great. I really love dogs. And my friend in Japan, um, Mari, put a video of a dog that is attacked in a Korean dog cafe where people can play with the dogs. And this big husky dog picks up a cute little Shuzu dog, a white little doggy, cute doggy, and he just, he broke its neck. And if you break a dog's neck, it's going to die. And I watched that and I felt so terrible. And I said, Mari, do you understand that the dog isn't just injured? That dog will probably be have to die. They'll give it a shot because it can't move its legs and arms anymore. And it really upset me. I said, Mari, I don't mean to get angry with you, but you have to think about that. Before you put a video up on Facebook like that, you should stop and think about it, right? All right. Hey, Fuang, would you like to try? We have Fuang's response, and I'm going to copy it here. I want you each to have a try. So your homework is basically, can you make a video um, with everything you wrote in class today? So you'll have to do the word file or this. Um, Fuang, I couldn't hear you there, so I'm going to just kind of go like that because I wasn't sure how you ended that. Um, so I'll put Fuang's thing down here. And Fuang, you're a pretty clear communicator. Was it just a microphone problem, maybe? Uh, yes. Yeah. OK, so there's what you said. said, I agree. I think it has um, social media has negative impacts. Can you say again? I can hear clearly. OK, it's, you said, I agree. Social media has negative impacts. Students who spend time on social media are, what would you like to say? Mm. Uh, uh, they always hold their electronic device and it can affect their eyes. Oh, okay. And Okay. All right, would you like to do more? All right, I'll tell you what, Huang, I'm gonna copy this one and put it in to give it a little bit more length. Uh, let's take away the I agree, this one here. And if you're on a debate team, Ivy, how many students are on the debate team? Three or four? 
uh, in in a team. Yeah. There are three students. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're gonna change all of the eyes to we 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 we, right? Don't you think that's better? We are yeah. here. To, okay. Yeah, because it's a team, Fuang. Okay, let's see. We have Fuang and Victor. Vu, if you can write your own response, but you're always good about writing responses. Mary can do her response. Ted, I didn't quite catch. Let me see what Ted has here. Ted, if you can do a thing. Oh, okay, Ted, you have it affects our sleep. And we're gonna copy that. I'm gonna put it down here, Ted. Sorry, this is taking so long to scroll down, but there's a lot here. Okay, so remember, I'm gonna make a file out of this. And so if you can just read your responses, all right? Um, we are here today to advocate for the idea that social media can be, can have negative impacts. Oh. Okay, healthy on <laughs> our health. Okay, so homework again, just to tell you one more time, um, is just to read what you've written in class. So for many of you, you don't have to do so much homework. You just have to read. But if you want to add to this, like Ted, if you can put two or three more lines, Victor, you're pretty good. Um, Fuang is also good. Carter, Johnny, Ivy, Ellis. Ellis, if you want to do a little bit more, make it a little bit longer, that would be wonderful if you have time. And then just read what <laughs> Ellis is laughing. Ellis, if you can just two or three more sentences, okay? Mr. Vu, you have to start from scratch because I couldn't understand you, but I think you can do it. Um, I'll leave Vu, I'll leave you with a statement to do um, this. And I'm going to give Vu this one. Mr. Vu, I'm going to leave you with this one so you can get a start to do a response. And I'll repeat what the homework is in um, Zalo, of course. And we'll put this one here. All right. You guys are sleepy. You need to go to bed, okay? So thank you very much, everybody, for a good lesson. And I'm happy, uh, Ivy, thank you for helping me because you've been in debates and you can help the younger students understand that you have to use those debate language things. You've had success in debate, so you're a good person to help. Thank you so much for that. And good luck with your tests, Ivy. Mr. Victor, thank you. And Fuang. Take care, Carter. Bye, bye, teacher. Berlin. Bye, bye, Boo. Thanks, you guys. Bye, teacher. Right, bye, bye, teacher. Bye, 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 Good luck, bye, Evie. We'll see you. Bye, bye, Mr. Boo. Bye, Fu. I finished all my exam, and now I can be free. All right. Take care, Ivy. See you, Carter and Boo.